Hello, I pray that you're well today. The word of God from James chapter 3. Not many of you should become teachers, my fellow believers, because you know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. It's a strong word, especially to those who choose to speak of the word of God. We will be judged more strictly. We would want to say no more than the Bible says and say no less. We want to be careful as we speak about the word of God. Not many of you should become teachers because you know we will be judged more strictly. We all stumble in many ways. Anyone who's never at fault in what they say is perfect, able to keep their whole body in check. It's the words that come out of our mouth that matter. It says, when we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal. Or take ships as an example. Although they are so large and driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. There is a disproportionate power to our words. Sometimes a word can truly encourage you, and sometimes a word cannot. Sometimes a word can build you up, and sometimes words can bring you down. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. A tongue is also a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body and sets the whole course of one's life on fire and itself is set on the fire by hell. If you could go back in time and take away words, if you could pull words out of the air and stick them back in your mouth, do you remember those days, those times, that experience? All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are being tamed and have been tamed by mankind. But no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. That the words we speak can either be encouraging or discouraging. For he goes on to say in verse 9, With the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing, my brothers and sisters, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water come out of the same spring? My brothers and sisters, can a fig tree bear olives or a grape vine bear figs? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. We must watch the words we say. We must ask God for forgiveness for the words that we have spoken. We must not set the forest on fire with our words. Words are powerful. They can build up. They can tear down. They can praise God. And they, as it says, we can speak against other people. God says, a tongue is a very powerful thing. Words are powerful. Please pray with me. Lord God, we thank you for your precious word and may we believe what it says. Lord God, may you bless us and strengthen us. May we use our words for encouragement and not discouragement, for building up and not tearing down. May we hold our tongue. May we be careful. May we praise you with our words and our life and our voice. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today. I pray God's grace upon you in this middle of summer.